Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. We have Kiki the Cupcake Girl. Hey, guys. All right, so Real Housewives of Atlanta. Are you excited for Sweet 16? Sweet 16, I hope it is very sweet and scandalous. Who do you think they're going to bring back? Um, I think they're going to bring back Candy. I think they're going to bring back Kenya. Um, how, you know what? This is a very great Sheree. question. Yeah, I feel like, do you think all of them are going to get brought back? I would hope so, plus Portia. I think so, and I would love to see Portia. I would love but that. I don't believe it's going to happen. According to TMZ, the show is looking to refresh the long-running series with new faces, and producers aren't looking at past housewives to fill the space. Wow. So that includes Portia, Kim Zosiak, Phaedra, and Nini. So how do you feel about uh, them not bringing nobody new back or old back? Um, I think that's a disservice to the fans mm. because we love all of them. I mean, some more than others, of course. I think Portia would have been a great move mm. to bring back because she definitely could have came in and shook some things up. She's too expensive. She probably is. She wants a million bucks. Yeah. And yeah. she deserves it. Um. All right. So let's talk about these. Oh, Sonya. Yes. You want Sonya back? I do. I like Sonya. You know, she's pregnant, right? Yes. We know what she's having now. What is she having? A girl? She's having a, she's having a boy. Okay. I mean, well, that's, that's great. That's great. Damn. No, you look so disappointed. I know Sonya was like, because she was raised up with all them boys. Well, she had her, um, you know, sister in the house yeah. and then they had like two boys or something. They or... have two. Yeah. Her hus- her sister's husband. Mm. They have two boys and then she has her son. Her son. Then you have yeah. her father, and... Aaron, and yeah. then you have, you know, the sister's husband. Yeah. So a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah. But now they're moved out. So. I mean, she's still the only girl. Right. So well, she's... her mom. She has her mom. Did her mom move out? I thought they all moved out. I would hope so. Well, she's the queen of her castle. Right. With her king and princess. So I love that. Um, we need we need that. I love to see black love. Okay, so now Candy Burris Tucker. Um, this is really n- not even that deep, but you know she has a new song out, right? I didn't know that. Um, you did not know that? <laughs> I did not. Do you not follow Candy on Instagram? I don't. I don't hate this. It's cute. I don't hate that. It's cute. Um, um, I wanted to see what the people, what you think about it? I thought it was cute. It's definitely, um, what? I think it's good. It, it's something I could bop to. A music video I know is going to be like super sexy and I like, body yaddy yaddy. She's like in a tub and she's rubbing and caressing her breasts anything. and her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, you know, she's the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, that's her, her. But in the comments, they were saying stuff like, oh, if it's only for you, then it should have only been for Todd. Whoa. <laughs> From what we just heard, I don't hate that. No, it sounds cute. It sounds cute. Would I play it at a party? I don't know, but <gasps> I would definitely play this in the car. Are you going to go to the dungeon tour? Or no, she's doing a show, Dungeon October. It's in October next month. Oh, okay. In Atlanta. Oh, okay. I You're not going to go. I, are you going to go? I don't think so. It's okay. like a costume party where you have to like BDSM, leather, sexy, right. lingerie. Um, Would you wear that? That's not my vibe. But I feel like there is a community out there that loves that. So I don't doubt that she won't sell out. Okay, well, speaking of Candy Burris and her Tucker, her best friend, Latasha Scott, did you watch SWV Escape? Yes, I did. How did you feel about Latasha? Latasha is the one that stole the money. Mm-hmm. I feel like she stole the money. I also feel like she's just insecure, and I feel like she's been taken advantage of. By, by the husband. Yeah, the husband, manager, whatever he is. Um, insecurity is very real. Self-hate is very real. So I think those are things that we have to deal with before we enter into relationships. Speak on it. Yes, for sure. Okay, so when you look at this picture, what this remind you of? What does this look like? All I want for Christmas. 
What what it look like? What what is this picture for? Uh, all I want for Christmas is giving Christmas vibes. Why would she take a picture like this? Why not? Do it look like an album cover? Slick. It That's does. what people are saying. So there's this picture of Latasha Scott on Twitter, and the tweet says, "Who's ready for the holidays?" Yeah, okay, she's and it's something. this Christmas, you know, themed holiday themed whatever. Um. Would you be here? Now, did you listen to the gospel album with Motown? I didn't. Mm. And I probably won't. Okay, so you're heavy in the gospel community. Yes. How do they feel about Latasha? Um, Y'all not listening to her. I'm not. They're not perform- performing her at my church. They're not at World Changers? She ain't come to World Changers? They're not performing her. And it's so crazy because she's from College Park, right? Right. And that would have been the first place she probably should have reached out Boom. to. Boom. But no. They don't want her performing Who Can I Run To in the pulpit. We don't, actually. Because that's what she's doing. She's on a church tour and she's performing Who Can I Run To. Like like a gospel version of? No, it's just the regular version. Okay, that's But I guess that's when they're saying Who Can I Run To, I guess she's thinking, okay, well, I can run to God or something. Okay, so you didn't listen to the gospel album. No. And if this is a gospel Christmas song this or album. This is not gospel. Her boobs are out. Mm. This is not gospel. Oh, so it may just be just regular Christmas music, maybe. If it is music at all. It's probably like Santa Baby. Like, I feel like that. (laughs) Are you looking at the (laughs) grid? Y'all, it's a meme of her turning into. Can I show y'all? Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Okay, wait, wait, wait. We got to. Oh, this lens is everything. Oh, my gosh. So somebody said Latasha stole Christmas and her sister money. Okay. (laughs) Somebody said, I'm so excited for this. I can't wait for the 30K remix. Remix, excuse me. That's going to really steal the spotlight. I know what you can get your sister for Christmas. Cloudy Baby wrote. First of all, people are ruthless. The singer wrote me... At I am Latasha, I didn't know you was coming out with a Christmas album. You weren't there, wrote, is your sister's money under the Christmas tree? Okay, <laughs> people. Leo's Groove wrote, I got 30,000 reasons why. <laughs> I got 30,000 reasons why I'm not ready for the holidays. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's see. It's nothing but they're still stuck on this $30,000. Because you don't steal from your sister. Come on now. And then lie about it and that then is deflect your on it. That is your sister. You don't do that. Come on now. What happened to family ties? Damn. Somebody said, girl, we not buying that shit. Oh, my goodness. I, I mean. You're I, not buying it. You didn't even. I at least streamed the damn album once. One time, Why but it was I... for research purposes. Okay, yeah, cause, cause, yeah, cause, no, absolutely not. I'm sh- not trying to hate on Latasha. I think she has a, a great voice with Escape, but maybe she should look into other ventures. Mm, not singing. She's a great singer. She's a great singer with Escape. Mm. Somebody said what you were saying from gospel to sexy Mrs. Claus. Yeah, like. That's not a gospel album. Now she may have like one gospel. It song. wasn't that much, boo. It, it wasn't, wasn't that, bad. that much. It was but just sweetie, her chest Christmas hurts. already belongs to Mariah, so you could try a different holiday. That's just kind of how I feel. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. There you go. You got it. Thank you, Kier, for joining us. Of course, I appreciate it as always. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.